Well, here it is. After a two year drought, we have now finally got a look at the next Sonic game, Sonic Frontiers. And yes, it is now an open world, just like what the leak said, it is called F Sonic Frontiers. And my god, we gotta talk about this. Before we get started, I owe you all apology. In my last video I said Sonic Frontiers will not be at the Game Awards whatsoever, but clearly hype was surrounding that game and I was pretty much wrong. But what I did say is that if, even if we did get Frontiers, they'll show C more CG and the name reveal with no gameplay at all. And yes, it was CG with a title reveal, but it was new CG and we did get some in-engine footage of the game. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This is what we should have gotten at Sonic Central in May. This is what we should have gotten back in May when the Sonic Central was out. Like, instead of that vague teaser, we should have gotten this because we know, now we know more of what to expect. Before we get to my thoughts, let's just take a look at what this trailer has to offer. It has Sonic boosting in the forest once again, well not boosting, just running, but he's being chased by something. These like purple creatures and he hears a voice. Maybe it's the ghost girl that's from the leaks. People are saying it's Amy, but that's a huge fucking reach. And then a huge purple explosion happens. And then he starts using that uh, same boost that was from the teaser. And then afterwards, we get him hanging from a cliff of this cool shot that I fucking love. It gives me so many Unleashed vibes. And then we get the in-engine footage of the game. And my god, the visuals look fucking incredible. There is that one segment where it shows the back of Sonic's head and it kind of does look a bit like the Forces model, which is kind of off-putting, but I hope it's just a placeholder. It just wouldn't fit. And then at the very end, we get a huge enemy that's like kind of like a kaiju battle from back in the 2000s. Are they gonna bring back them? Are we gonna have like this renaissance after all? Is the meta era really gone? Like we have not seen classic Sonic, we have not seen Green Hill, and from what I've heard, Pond's half is not there. Instead, we got Ian Flynn writing the story. Like, is the meta era really over? And these environments, man, I have not seen a Sonic game in years. They had environments like this. All we had was fucking Green Hill and Chemical Plant and fucking square trees from Lost World and shit. We haven't had lush environments in fucking years. You can actually see these screenshots on the actual website. And my god, we have not had this in so long. Oh my god, it's gonna look so fucking good on PS5. But I wonder how the frame rate will run. Especially on base PS4, actually no, and especially on fucking Switch though. How's that gonna run? But we'll just have to see what happens when we get gameplay. And there's some more good news. The game will be on Steam. If you look on the Steam site, try and search up Sonic Frontiers and the actual Steam page will be on there. So none of that Epic Game Store bullshit from Sonic Colors Ultimate is gonna be on Steam and it'll be lit. The big question now is, will this game be good after 10 years of mediocrity? Because remember, we have still not had a single good free Sonic game since Generations. But could Frontiers break that chain? Could Frontiers set us free? Because aesthetically, I have hopes for this. Like, I actually have hopes. Ver at the very beginning, I was very cynical, very cynical. Perhaps this could be a reverse on the forces build up where we were all high to start off with and then as the more the game got shown, we became very cynical. Sonic fans started defending the game, saying you can't judge a game unless you have positivity. Otherwise, if you haven't played it, don't judge it unless you're positive and all that other shit. I just hope the open world isn't fucking bare, like empty. I just hope we have actual stuff to do, like, I hope we have, like, intricate level design and I just don't want it to be another automated mess. I just want Sonic to be good again, or well, 3D Sonic to be exact. I just want a good 3D Sonic game. We haven't had one since Gen, so I'm really wanting this to happen, but aesthetically, 
this looks fucking promising. There's also the concern of how the game will actually control, because remember, back in Forces, the game controlled like fucking shit. Classic Sonic, heavy, molasses, like modern Sonic, just stiff jump, all around anus, just, and the avatar, too much momentum, stop on the dime, it's fucking horrible control. But I just hope they get the control right here. I just, I want to be able to have good control in a 3D Sonic game again. Just, at least I just want it better than Forces. And since they're going for that open world, this game better be a good length. This game better be fucking long. I do not want another four hour game ever again from this franchise. Like, give us some meat. Give us all of that content. Since you're an open world, give us plenty of side quests. Not too much, but like, give us some stuff to do. Give us plenty of like, maybe like 15 hours or so, what, 20 hours? Yeah, that's the perfect amount of time for an open world game. And this will be the first ever Sonic game on PS5 and Xbox Series X, so they better go ham with the ray tracing and shit, because that will look beautiful with this aesthetic. And I hope to Christ that it's optimized well for the base systems, because I don't want another Crash 4 situation where, remember on Crash 4, like, the game had an unlock frame rate, and you couldn't play it on PS4 Pro and Xbox One X at 60 frames per second, but on the base PS4 and Xbox One, it was just jittering around and without any toggle. So if they're gonna unlock the frame rate, they're gonna they need to add a toggle on here because I don't want to deal with jittery frame rates on here. And I just hope it ain't buggy. Like, I don't want another Colors Ultimate situation. But yeah, we didn't get gameplay again, as expected. I kind of called this, so... I'm not really surprised, but it is what it is. We'll just have to see what happens at E3 or maybe South by Southwest next year to see how the game will play, because I'm just curious on how the game will actually play. Would it be like Boost or would it be Spin Dash? because I'm actually curious. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on Sonic Frontiers. Let me know what you all think. Are you hyped? Are you still cautious? Are you optimistic? Let me know down below and yeah, like, comment, subscribe at the bell, that good stuff and tune in for more content. I'm BrightX2000 BX2. Enjoy the rest of your day and take care. Bless. Actually, before I go, let me just give one final salute to the meta era real quick. <clears throat> ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Red Bozo! <laughs> oh, smoking that meta era pack! Rest in peace, you will not be missed!